Hi, this is Lauren Hill from DMG School Project. Hi, coming to you from the Duncan McQuillan Gallery in sunny St. Petersburg, Florida. I'm here with Trey Snowden. Um, and we have had the pleasure of hosting him for our 2020 Jean and Julia Sorbo residency. And uh, so Trey has spent the past six weeks with us creating a body of work in DMG School Project's Hot Glass Studio. And he ends the six-week residency with a show here in the gallery, and we have just finished installing this this week. Um, so I got a couple questions for Trey. Um, Trey, hey. Hi. Uh, hey. <laughs> so my first question is, can you just give us a brief background on your art career thus far? Like how you got started, maybe where you studied, what inspires you? Absolutely. So. Um, I had a non-traditional route into glass where I originally started at Ohio State University, which I graduated with a biological science degree in anthropology. Um, from that point, I did a lot of traveling abroad and discovered that, you know, art was what I really wanted to do. So I went back to school to Columbus College of Art and Design, where I studied under the late Dawson Kellogg and learn to blow glass while I quickly transitioned into my master's degree is where I really started honing in on my mixed media work. And my master's degree was from Kent State University under the tutelage of Henry Hallam. And it's been a very interesting road and kind of led me to the art that I'm now working. So Trey, thanks. How do you think this residency and representation here at the Duncan McClellan Gallery will help move your career forward? I think that the reputation of this gallery and the caliber of work that they show with so many amazing artists is first and foremost just an honor to be represented here and to have my work along with all these other um, incredibly talented artists working in the field. So, um, I think I'm very excited for the exposure that this, this gallery is going to allot me, um, especially on the international level, in addition to uh, holding market down in southern Florida and you know, all of the south. I think it's really important that um, my work can speak to the area and the colors that I'm using. I think work really well down here and there's so much light in Florida that these guys can kind of light up the girls. Um, we are in the sunshine state in the sunshine city. We are. We can sell sun here, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's been a pleasure. What have you learned? What is something that you've learned in the past six weeks that you would take away or tell incoming emerging artists? I would say first and foremost that be flexible and be willing to adapt in the moment to whatever situation is happening. Um, I personally had a had quite a bit of blue failures um, dealing with a different different atmosphere, uh, humidities and stuff. So allowing yourself the time to work through your problems so that you can really hone in on what you want to make and are trying to strive towards. Um, and I think also just being part of the studio and the environment is important and you know, being a team player. No, a team player is super, super important. We say when you take on this residency, um, you're basically joining our family, right? We're in a small, it's, it's not a small hot shop, but it, is, it does become a very small space quickly when you have two artists trying to crank out full bodies of work for this caliber of gallery because you want to bring it, right? right? And it yeah, takes yeah. some space to figure out, especially when you're putting different materials together as you've done. Um, so each one of Trey's pieces are full work to fit the other piece, which really takes a lot of skill to bring it back to that polish. Um, when you think that he's hand carved each one of these out and then brought that back to a full polish is pretty, pretty incredible skill. And you definitely have to have the space to do it. Right, yes. so like you took over full tables in the hot glass studio. Yes, I was lucky enough to have, you know, unlimited, unfeathered access to really, you know, get to where I wanted to go here. I definitely used up a lot of physical space, especially any flat, flat area in the studio. 
Um, and you know, it's, it's been a really amazing for me to put together this much work in six weeks, which is something, you know, I came here hoping that I could get maybe 10 sculptures and to get, you know, more than that has been a very nice surprise. So his, your work here is a combination of clown and a whole lot of cold working. Yes. You may have as many hours in the cold shop as you do in the hot glass studio. Yeah, it's it's a balance, um, and you know, to all the artists that come through, you know, really push it in any way you can. Um, it's important that you're not sacrificing what you want to do in your practices, um, but it does take a bunch of time to to coordinate. You know, you're still you're still making stuff in the hot shop. You're still assisting and putting the team putting your work together is ultimately what's important for your time here. You talked a little bit about failure, and this, we work with about 40 local schools, um, Title I, high school and below. And something I try to tell all these kids and all these classes is, if you have one good sculpture here, how many pieces did you actually go through? Like, how many pieces were failed? Or how many, we don't necessarily want to hone in on your failures, right? right? But like, how many blown, broken feet? So that's just one blown part. It's a second blown part, and these are other components. But if this foot breaks and you needed that black, what do you call this technique again? Merletto. Merletto, right? So it's a very specific technique. Right. How many black Merletto feet do you, did you have to make to get one good one? More than one. More than one. More right? than one. And you have to you have to be willing to put in that time to work beyond the parts. Um, for my work, it's really important that the symmetry is carried through the pieces. So. Even though nobody's going to put it on a banding wheel, I think it's important that everything carries through and symmetrically um, clean throughout the form. You gotta make yourself happy with the pieces that way. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, at the end of the day, you have to be very proud of what you do. You got here making this work, and I think it's important that you stick to what you do and, and your own standards. And But beyond that, really start to push and push and push and try to work new things into what you're doing. So like this particular piece, I did have a lot of extra parts for this to get this to line up to this. So my cement parts are made um, separately and then glued towards that. That's important to mention that this part is actually cement, yeah. right? So I don't know if we've mentioned that yet. So it's glass on cement and the cement, we're not allowed to touch it, right? Because we don't touch the work in the gallery. But in the studio, I did touch a couple, and it feels like soft satin almost. It's yeah. kind of magical when you touch it, but if you touch it, you have to buy it. Yes. Okay, so I got really one more question for you. Um, would you recommend this residency to your glass peers, glass absolutely. colleagues? Yeah, absolutely, and I've already reached out to a few people that I think will fit really well here. It's I try to tell people that are interested to you know, come with an idea and game plan, but be very willing to blow it up for something better or bigger and really just push it. You have this amazing opportunity and one of the nicest hot shops I've ever been in. But to do anything you want, you have the support system here um, between yourself and Dan, and Duncan even helped me in the hot shop before. So You did get Duncan whole turn for you. I did. I was very lucky. <laughs> It's pretty magical, huh? <laughs> um, so, do you have anything to add or anything you want to say? Um, I, want to work, I want to work the plants into this somehow. Oh, the plants. Yeah. So, one thing that you did learn is about the gardens. The gardens. So, you want to give us a little couple things that Duncan has taught you about gardens. So, he's got you in the gallery. Yep. He'll let you get through a lot of glass failures and successes. <laughs> but you've also taken the garden with you. Yes. So... Uh, I love plants, as Lauren's mentioning, and Duncan's love for plants is, you know, on a level where I hope to achieve one day. But it's been a pleasure learning uh, about fruit trees and air layering, so that I'll actually get to take some of Duncan's grown uh, plants back with me um, and start to delineate those out to people and really kind of keep that alive and keep giving and giving and sharing with plants. Um, I think it's really cool. It, 
you know, your experience here is, is more than just making art. It's really important that you have time with the people that are helping you. It's important that you take time for yourself. For me personally, the time was in the garden and, you know, at first taking some succulents here and there until Duncan told me to go ahead and take what I want very, very safely. And it's, it's been really nice to have that outlet here because um, back home I've got close to 180 plants inside. What's home for you? Bloom is Columbus, Ohio. Is which, there snow on the ground right now? I'm not sure if there's snow, but it's in the 30s. Okay. So we'll we, stay here. Yeah. We'll we'll stay. Here. You'll stay here. <laughs> I gotta go back. But it'll be, it, that's another one of the most amazing things is coming from Ohio and it's December and almost Christmas and we're here still wearing short sleeves and shorts most days, especially working in the shops and yes. flip flops. Yes. Well, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you guys for everything you've done for me. It's, it's truly been incredibly helpful and you know what this will do for my career and just the ability to make a whole body of work. Um, is priceless and I can't say thank you to you, Dan, Danielle, um, Duncan, Irene, Will, and all the kitties on the property.